Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for the Scrap Room to share with you my interpretation of the April Sketch Challenge. That's the sketch there, and this is what I am going to do with it. And I used the Pinkfresh Studio Flavor of the Month in the April kits, as well as the Pattern Paper add-on and the Embellishment add-on. I also used a few embellishments of my own from Pinkfresh Studio. So I'm going to use the cardstock that comes with the kit as my background, and then I'm going to trim down this piece of paper with the uh, lines on it, and that is going to be my centerpiece that's in the sketch as the main piece of pattern paper on top of that background there. Um, I have two pictures here of my son that I converted to black and white. I think he was wearing a navy blue shirt in this picture um, and what he was wearing didn't really matter. This is more about just uh, the title of this layout is going to be observations at 14 um, and so by converting the pictures to black and white, I am able to focus on him and not so much the colors that are in the picture. So you can see that I've used this pattern paper previously. Um, this is a kit that I am using more than once. And that's the great thing about these scrap room kits is that you can get many, many layouts out of it. Um, and so the actual first layout that I created will be coming up in uh, two weeks, uh, not this Saturday, but the Saturday coming um, to show you uh, how I featured the, just the page kit. So I have the incline that I cut out of that blue there and just as the sketch calls for, I'm going to use that floral to back the photos. Uh, I'm toyed with whether I was going to have the photos be side by side or whether I was going to have them a little bit staggered. The sketch calls for side by side, but I am not a photo side by side kind of person. You will see that in a lot of my layouts. I just, I, I like the delineation of one photo to the other. Um, and I feel that you can do that better when you split the photos just a little bit and skew them um, a tad. So I, this yellow piece is also from the pattern paper add-on and I wanted to incorporate that somehow. Uh, in the sketch there is a piece that goes between that main pattern paper um, and that floral that I've used and I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate that into my layout but the way that I have done things here um, you lose the the incline because I have a much shallower incline I think than the steep incline that is called for in the sketch so rather than putting it where it is called for in the sketch I'm going to move that down below the photo um, so I'm still including it I'm just putting it in a different spot so in order to continue to work and really be able to figure out where things are going, I need to commit to some things and I am committing to things by laying them down, uh, adhering them down. So you can see where I'm trying to make that yellow work um, and it just isn't going to work for me, but I still want that yellow, that pop of color in the layout. And so I'm going to trim it down and you'll see how I put it underneath uh, the floral paper at the bottom there. Unfortunately, in doing that, I do cover up that, uh, yeah, you can see there how by putting it there, I do cover up some of that transition from the, I'm going to call it a salmon color to the lighter colors into the white, um, which is kind of unfortunate. That was the whole cool thing about that piece of pattern paper, um, but it's okay. It's you can still see it um, and the idea of that is there and actually you see it much more in the the overall layout once that's finished. So I'm going to commit to that and commit to the placement of these photos. One of the things that the sketch does call for is something that's coming out of the photos um, and it, it looks like it's going to be a journal spot. It could be another photo. I couldn't find anything that worked there for me so I'm just going to uh, leave my interpretation of the sketch to not include that. I popped up the photo on a little bit of craft foam. And then I'm going to fussy cut out this heart that says observations and use that on the layout. The 
embellishment add-ons that come for this collection are wood veneers. Um, I really struggle with the wood veneers with the white. Um, to me, the wood veneers go better with collections that have ecru in them. Um, and so I am going to try and make the most of all of the embellishments that come with the actual page kit. So that clip there, that paper clip, and then the little tag down the bottom that says to be continued with the black string on it. So you can see yeah, I'm looking at these wood veneers and I'm trying to incorporate them into the layout, but uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to make that work for me and for what I like on my layouts. Um, I'm going to actually change where that paper clip goes and I really like, so on the sketch, there is also something coming out from underneath the photos. It, it could be a journal spot, it's a tag. And I, the tag, I thought maybe I could use that wood veneer, and then I thought maybe I could use that to be continued tag, but it doesn't go. Uh, so ultimately, I'm gonna move what would be the tag as the, the tag that says to be continued, and I'm gonna put that as a transition right there. Uh, the problem is, is that you can see that the tassel hangs off the page, so I have to do something to amend that situation. So the sketch also calls for a header and a very teeny tiny footer at the bottom of the page. I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to use this uh, asymmetrical scalloped border as my header on my layout. I'm gonna keep the, the actual top of the, pay, of the strip straight and then I'm going to uh, fussy cut out those sort of scallops and that uh, what I like about that is with the the diagonal of that blue strip that the sketch calls for it sort of softens that uh, by not having that straight strip there and makes the layout a little less geometrical than it is which works much better for me so I'm going to line that up with the top there and I like the way that that pulls the yellow in the layout to the yellow on the top and kind of pulls the layout together. It definitely needs a footer at the bottom of the page there. So I really, I, I tried shifting everything here, but in the process of shifting everything, I'm gonna actually end up ripping that gray cardstock. So I'm gonna stick it back down and I, I really wanted to shift everything up in order to get that tag to fit there, but I decided, well, Fine, I can fix that. <laughs> and so I just trim off the black and I reposition it so that it works for me. There's always a way to make things work if you uh, step out of the box a little bit and get ingenious as I did here. And now it fits on the page and I don't have to worry about shifting everything up. It also uh, covers up where I ripped the cardstock underneath. So you can see I'm really trying to get these uh, wood veneers to work. There's the footer on the page that I still have to address. I thought maybe I would use a, a strip of that pink and again to tie all the color into the layout, um, but that doesn't work for me. This is where, so there's something at the top underneath the header it looks like a little label that just is too square um, and it needs something a lot more rectangular. So I was trying to really use up the things that came with the kit rather than pulling in too much additional stuff. But in order to make the sketch work, I really needed to pull something else additional in. So this heart that I fussy cut, I've popped to the picture. So I need to use additional foam underneath the heart as well in order to have them sit on the same level. And then there needs to be just a little bit underneath the bottom of the heart as well. So I've lost that clip, which is what I was searching for there. And I know I wanna incorporate it into the layout. I'm just not sure quite where it fits at this point. So this is where I'm gonna pull out embellishments that I have purchased on my own. These did not come with the kit. And I'm going to stick that with the, I like the way that it just pulls a little bit of the blue um, and a little bit of the darkness from the photo down to the bottom of the page. And this is where I discover that label there and how that's the perfect rectangular shape, just like the sketch calls for. And I'm gonna stick that and nestle that into that uh, asymmetrical scallop border up at the top there. 
I love the way that that uh, touch of salmon sort of, again, I like to tie everything into the layout together and I like the way that that salmon ties that in. So this is a uh, puffy sticker and again, that's from my own part of the collection and that little black sticker there is a letter sticker that is an ampersand. So it says observations at and then I'm going to uh, pull in letter stickers that say, uh, actually not letter stickers, number stickers that say 14 and I'm actually going to commit to that uh, sticker there that's the the bulldog clip and I'm going to stick that right there on that photo. Now I'm still struggling with this footer and I'm going to just choose a teeny teeny tiny border of that blue and again that ties everything together perfectly. So that is my interpretation of the sketch using the April Pink Fresh Studio page of the flavor of the month kit. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you do play along, please do share over on the Facebook page what you created. We would love to see how you interpret the sketch. Enjoy the close-ups to follow. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the box below. Thanks for following me. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you're doing well. Take care.